Okay, hello everybody. Um, this is just that continuation, and I wanna talk a little bit about what materials I would recommend for you, like personally, if you wanna play with oil pastels in the lead up to that February workshop. I'm not gonna show you everything today, obviously, because we're trying to keep it a little bit shorter, and uh, just show you some of what the possibilities are. Um, but, you know, I do think it's such a great material. It's one that I'm really excited about, and there's so many places to start that I think it's very helpful to get somebody's opinion on it. Um, as far as paper, if you want to do a nice finished oil pastel piece, this is what I would recommend. Um, it doesn't need to be the tan. I like the tan, but you can see this mixed media paper, 184 pound. This is going to be more than thick enough. Um, and the Strathmore is really not too pricey for your 15 sheets. This is what I saw recommended at TAEA by one of the oil pastel presenters. This is okay, but it's actually a little bit lighter than this. This is 300 grams per square meter. This is 250. You know, both are more than enough, but the Stonehenge is a lot pricier than the Strathmore. Um, I don't think you need necessarily the Stonehenge. When it comes to the oil pastels themselves, if you're just buying for yourself, I would definitely recommend you get a smaller, like a 12 or 24 set of the higher quality oil pastels instead of opting for that really big set of the cheaper brands. Uh, I do like in the classroom, the Cray Pass, like I said, which are very affordable. If you want to spend a little bit more money on yourself, uh, the Sennelier is great. You're going to be paying about, probably with your discount, maybe $2 or so per pastel. You know, they're a pretty decent size. Uh, I've been using these basically since March, and you can see I haven't used up any colors all the way. I'm about to need a new white. Uh, but, you know, really, I think a pretty reasonable price point. The Cran Deche is actually kind of a step down from the Sennelier. They are a little bit firmer, which can be nice. Some people might prefer that. Um, with the discounts, like the Sennelier has a really high list price, but you, you never pay that list price. So like, I think the list price for these is like 100 or something. But that's just a little sticker thing because then every actual art store sells them for 60 or less. And these kind of the list price is in that 60% range and then you maybe get like 10% off. So it's only a couple dollars cheaper to buy the Cran Dash. Um, I do like, you do get a little bit of a bigger stick and they are useful. And you get some colors that I kind of wish I had over here. And over here, there's some colors that I wish I had over here. So it can be nice to have multiple options. Uh, but definitely go for that smaller, higher quality set because of how blendable these are. I would also just go to the baby aisle. Get yourself some baby wipes. I would just get something kind of fragrance free. This is going to be really great for taking away some oil um, and for kind of cleaning your hands. You can actually use paper stumps uh, with your oil pastel. I would just pop out a little makeup wipe or a baby wipe and just wipe off. And you can get a lot of that material off without having to actually sand. You can do the same thing just with your fingers. And sometimes I'll actually take this to the paper. Uh, while you're in the baby aisle, I would pick up some baby oil. It would actually probably be a little bit cheaper to buy mineral oil. Uh, baby oil is just mineral oil with usually a little bit of like fragrance or something, but baby oil is cheap and will be really nice for kind of thinning and solubilizing the pastel material. Mineral oil is one of those non-sicative oils that I talked about earlier, and that is the oil that's in the oil pastels. So by adding more, we can kind of activate and spread and thin and get these wonderful glowing effects, which is something I'll show you more in the February workshop. Uh, some Q-tips. These are what I would use for putting the oil on and actually doing some of that smoothing. You can also just smooth, you know, directly with the Q-tip. Like I said, I kind of want to stay away from the fingers a little bit. And I use a palette knife, but, you know, that's because I'm a painter and I already have a palette knife, like, ready to go. You could use kind of anything that will scrape. Um, I've seen people use X-Acto knives. You're not really looking to damage the paper. So... Um, lots of things will work. You know, I think even kind of a credit card or your nail would work. It's just that's a little nasty. So I like the palette knife. 
I'm gonna end this here and then we'll actually look at some examples.